I'm Jason Roselle. You're watching Get Inspired with Jason. Removing emotional band-aids from your life. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know what an emotional band-aid is? And no, we're not talking about this particular type of band-aids. I'm talking about things that you're doing to cover up your pain and moving too fast and too soon. Now, what are some examples of some emotional band-aids? Maybe you have to figure out, hey, am I living with an emotional band-aid? Maybe not. All right, let's start with the first example. Say you're on a diet, you're trying to lose weight. It's only been a few weeks and you're not getting the results you want. And what do you do? You quit and you move on to another diet. Does that sound familiar? Have you done that maybe once or twice? I know I have in the past and let me tell you, my life was full of band-aids. Same thing could happen with your trainer. So say you have a trainer, you're working out a few times, you're not getting the results and what do you do? You're like, oh my God, this is not working. I gotta get a new trainer and you start sweating. You start saying, oh my God, I'm spending all this money and what do you do? You either quit completely or you go on to find a different trainer, right? Cause you're never happy, right? You're never finding the results. How about relationships? Relationships with your boyfriend, girlfriend, maybe even with someone in your past, an ex-husband, an ex-wife. What do you do? Things don't work out. Do you just quit and put on a Band-Aid and say, okay, I'm getting a divorce? No, you can't do that. You gotta make sure you give it all you got before quitting and putting an emotional Band-Aid. So hopefully these examples are giving you a good idea to see if you are a victim of this, like many of my clients that I coach life, wellness, and relationship coaching, and how can we prevent this from happening again? The solution is simple. Take off the Band-Aid. Let it get some air, which is you. Breathe. Start working on yourself. Start journaling. Start writing down all the things that make you happy and the things that are stressing you out. And what can we do and work on on a daily basis, a weekly basis, to achieve the goals we want without jumping to the next quick thing? So many people, like I said, relationships with their partner, their trainer, their diet, their boss, their job, their career, they're moving from one to the next, wanting instant gratification. There is no instant gratification. Like we say in España, where I'm from, la vida es corta. Y todo lo que es gratis o muy fácil no dura para siempre. That means the life is real short, right? And everything that you want for the long haul, for longevity, is not going to come in instant gratifications. You got to give it all you got. But take time to heal. This is how we rip off the Band-Aid. Are you going to rip it off? Take time for yourself. Meditate. Relax. Become one and love yourself and become in peace with yourself before moving on to something or someone else. Now, do you have any questions? I want you to drop me some comments and know that I provide one-on-one -on -one coaching via my website, that I'm here for you. And I want you to also write me any suggestions for the next topics of episodes. I cannot wait for you to rip off one Band-Aid, two Band-Aid. Ah, are you with me? Yes, dime que si. Life is too beautiful. We got one life, one brain, one heart. Don't overwhelm yourself. Don't go to the next quick thing. Do you, be happy with you. Because the universe is always on your side. Remember, life is happening for you, not to you. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.